Hello and welcome back to Glen ZB TV for Monday, the show that puts Glen ZB up your periscope. I'm bringing New Zealand to the world and the world to New Zealand. Uh, yeah, welcome back. Welcome back to, to me. Well, welcome to me. Well, welcome. Welcome, Glen ZB. Thanks. This is crazy. All right, uh, the first day back. No, you, you get. You don't expect after a few weeks off. You don't expect everything to go smoothly. Uh, but like, no sooner had I entered the building, like I literally hadn't even got out of my car, and things started going wrong. Uh, this is what. This is what. So, that's the sign on my car park. But as you can see by the context of the picture, it's not on the wall. It's on the ground. Fallen up, sign fallen off. That's that's not a positive way to start. Um, those are my yes, those are my shoes. They are. See, look, see, they're all right, aren't they? Anyway, things got better after that. Uh, it turned out I did still work here, and things went relatively smoothly. Uh, they're working at, at the Vatican. Uh, turns out uh, Palestine is actually a place and they've got an embassy at the Vatican now and so uh, the Palestinian man met uh, Mr. Abbas met with the Pope man and they had these very heavy chairs I couldn't help noticing when I saw this on the news last night they took them a long time to there was a lot of this sort of <clears throat> I can't help thinking when you're as important as those guys why do they not have somebody to do the chairs for them, just like you would at a restaurant. Anyway, I think they should get that looked at, or at least put them on um, casters or something. He heavy, solid, solid chairs, but heavy. Oh man, it's so important to get those uh, pictures at the wedding in Wanaka, isn't it? Everybody wants to see. So interesting watching people get married. Um, the I, there are people who are passionately into this stuff, uh, or passionately into Richie McCaw, for sure. In fact, uh, the same day, actually, as the wedding was happening down there, I was somewhere else, uh, up opposite end of the country, in fact, and I saw a car with a personalised plate on it that said McCaw 07. And for a moment, I thought that maybe it was Richie just doing a runner, but it, I, it probably wasn't. It was probably somebody rushing off to get a copy of the Herald so they could see the grainy pics. Finally, uh, how can you avoid this happening? Uh, I don't know if you've seen the video of an Australian news program where all the people uh, were wearing the... So they quickly made one of the ladies put on a jacket. Um, so, obviously, the way to avoid this is by giving Mike Hosking all the money he wants for his wardrobe on TV. People criticise him, but otherwise everybody ends up wearing the same clothes. Whereas you can end up with a jacket like that. That one's probably not so bad. That one's quite bad. Uh, that one, there's no excuse for that. I don't know what's happening there. Is that, is that one? Is that one just that one inside out? He's put it around the wrong way and I don't know. And no, I'm not wearing white. This is kind of like a blue, there's blue stripes. These are sort of pink stripes. It, maybe it's just not coming through. I don't know. That's what happens when the paparazzi shoot me with a telephoto lens. I am Glenn ZB. Thank you so much uh, for having me up your periscope. I will see you back here again with uh, 2017's second episode of the year tomorrow.